Why I have done the initialization one? It depends on my thing, right? Or you can write 11 here and you can write 20 here. That's up to you. Now also you are ready to look for how many times? 10 times. Starting with what? 11. Condition is what? Up to 20. Is it clear? But for easy understanding manner, I will write 1 times. Printing the number 5, 
Now number plus one, five plus one, how much? Six. Number is how much? Six. I plus plus, I is sixteen. Sixteen I am writing in the lower. Now six plus that is plus what? Twenty. Condition is to print the number six. Number is equal to number plus one. Number is six. Six plus one what? Seven. Now I plus plus seven. Seventeen. I is seventeen. Under seventeen I am writing in the lower. Did you got it? Now print the number seven. Right now increment eight. Now I plus plus I is how much? Eighteen. Right. Now check the condition. It is less than equal to twenty. True. Print the number. Number is eight. And number plus one. That is nine. Now I plus plus I is nineteen. Means the ninth time I am writing in the lower. Right. So nine plus nineteen less than equal to twenty. True. Here what to do? Print what? Number. Number is how much? Nine. Number is how much? Nine. Now I plus plus. I is twenty. Twenty less than equal to twenty. Now print what? The number. Number is how much? Number is how much? Now here I will write. I'm oh, sorry. Here the number is ten. Here the number I will write as what? Ten. Now I plus plus. I is twenty one. Twenty one less than equal to what? Twenty. Condition is false. Come out of the loop. Did you got it? So here. If you just uh, if you read the loop for multiple times, you get some good comment here. So here the problem is so many people will confuse because in fixed set always i is one and i less than equals what ten. We fix this one. When we fix this one, now you get the problem. What you think is why are we one and ten? Do you think that because I want to print one to ten numbers? That is the reason. You got it, right? So in this manner, you will do the same problem. <laughs> But still, in the same problem, if you want to decrease the number of variables, <coughs> then you can change your logic. That is what so many people how they will think. Let us see here. For example, I will write for int i is equal to one, i less than or equal to ten, i plus plus. And here I will write console dot write down of i simple. So here you don't think that why I have written one and ten here. I have written one and ten to rotate the loop for ten times. But unfortunately, my rotation loop and what I am printing both are what same. Very good. I have not written one and ten here because to print the value. Why I have written one and ten? Because I want to rotate the loop for how many times? Ten times. Because of that reason, I have written one and what? Ten. Right? But unfortunately, here whatever the value I want to print, and I both are what? Same. Right? So you can do the problem in two different ways. Right? This is by using a separate variable called number. This is without using the other variable. Right? Let us see one more example so that you get some more. Command on this one. Very good. So here we try to check one more example. For example, I want to print the numbers like two, four, six, eight, ten. I want to write a problem to print the numbers like two, four, six, eight, ten. Means I am writing the loop how many times? Five times. First time to print two. Second time to print four. Third time to print six, fourth time to print eight, fifth time to print what? Ten. I want to print the loop for how many times? Five times. So the initial value here we will see. So different time to write the loop here for the initial value first time. Int i is equals to one. I less than equals to what? Five. I plus plus. Why I have written one and five here? Because I want to print the loop for how many times? Five times. For that particular reason, I have written one and one, five, right? And here you can see. Did you got it? Now what I want to do here is the initial value is two, so I will take one variable. Int number is equal to what? Two. Int number is equal to two. So first I want to print the number. So console dot write down of I will print the number. See generally if you in C language you want to print, you can use print of In C++, you can write C out of Java system out of the printer. Just I am trying to write the problem with the help of C 
is your dog pen, right? Here, I am focusing on the concept, not on the language that you are understanding. So now, first time I want to print the number. Now, second time, first time I want to print two will print. Second time I want to print four. Where my number will become four? If I add two to my number, so number is equal to number plus two. Is that now? Now see here, right? So initially I, so here I will take one variable called I and one more variable called number. Initially I is how much? One. It means that first time I am trying to rotate the globe. Number is how much? Two. Now how the formula will be executed? Initialization one. One less than equal to what? Five. True. Print the number. If you print it two. Now number is equal to number plus two. Two plus two number is how much? Four. Get it got it? So I plus plus. I plus plus means I is two. It means that second time I am rotating the globe. So two less than equal to what? Five. Enter. Print the number. The number is how much? Four. Now number is equal to number plus two. Number is four. Four plus two how much? Six. Now I is three. It means that third time I am rotating the globe. Three less than equal to five. True. Print the number. Number is six. Number is equal to number plus two. Six plus two how much? Eight. Now I is how much? Four. It means that fourth time I am rotating the globe. Four less than equal to what? Five. Print the number. The number is how much? Eight. Number is equal to number plus two. Eight plus two how much? Number is ten. I plus plus. So I is how much? Five. It means that fifth time I am rotating the globe. Print the number. Number is how much? Ten. Ten plus two. Now the number is how much? Twelve. I plus plus. I means six. It means that six time I am rotating the globe. Six less than equal to what? Five. Condition is false. Come out of the loop. So the output is two, four, six, eight, ten. So here, if you fix for this type of scenario, that we have to plan to write the for loop based on how many times you want to write the loop. Because this methodology will make you to work any type of example. You can work with any sort of or any type of example, and you follow. This type of methodology. See, like I can write the same problem by using another methodology. By reducing the coding. By reducing the coding, see how I will write. I will write the for in by initial value I will write as two. I as an equals for uh, ten I will write. And here I will write I is equals to I plus two. And here console dot write one of I. Now see here. This is the logical manner. If you think you can reduce the code and in this other way, but what I am going to prefer is this is the ultimate way where you can solve any type of problems because almost all the problems you work with this type of methodology. But when you go for this type of methodology, you have to apply some logic. That is, your brain must be sharp whenever you are going to work with this type of concept. See here, I is how much to Two less than equal to ten. True. Print what? Two. Now I equals I plus two. Two plus two I is how much? Four. Four less than equal to ten. True. Print what? Four. Now I is how much? Four. Four plus two six. Six less than equal to ten. Print what? Six. Now I is how much? Eight. Eight less than equal to ten. Print what? Eight. Now I is how much? Eight. Eight plus two ten. Ten less than equal to ten. True. Print what? Ten. Now I is how much? Twelve. Twelve less than equal to ten. False. That's the problem. So here, what I want to tell you is, this is also the other way. This problem is also correct. But here, the ultimate way, any type of problem without confusion, if you try to work things, this is the best way. Is it clear? <laughs> right. So this is the other way. So what I want to convey here is, why we are writing the initial value and the condition? How many times we want to write the loop? Because of that. Initial value condition. Let us see one more example here. For example, I want to print ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can do the same example two ways. Right? In our general method one, and by using the other the logic part. Right? So how? So I want to write the hundred percent. I can tell that I want to write the loop for how many times? Ten times. So here you can write. For 
initially in the is equal to one and i less than equal to ten i plus plus without any doubt you can write this formula because i want to write the root for how many times ten times and repeating every time that by error and permanent and here because i want to write the root for how many times ten times for that matter there is only i am mention one and one ten is it clear now i want to print it ten so i will take one variable int number is equals to what ten so my number is how much ten now what i want to do here i want to print the number so console dot right hand off here i will print the number ten second time what i want to do i want to decrement the number so my number is ten when my number is become nine when i uh, direct one for my number that is number is equal 